皆さん、こんにちは。Yesterday, we learnt a lot of new vocabulary, a lot of new grammar, some new kanji characters. So, 今日も同じことをやりましょう。Let's learn some more Japanese today. 今日も日本語を勉強しましょう。So, well, let us see what we have here. As we always do, I think it is your assignments. So, well, first of all, we will do the assignments and then go on to doing our lesson. The first assignment that I gave you yesterday was match group A with group B. These are sentences over here and we are going to match these sentences. They are not in order. So, well, let us see what the first one is. Indo wa ichinenju atsui desu. Then we have Anata wa mai nichi nanjikan nemasu ka? With ka, please remember the intonation is always rising. Asoko no takai tatemono wa byoin desu. Donna shosetsu o yomimasu ka? Tanaka san wa mai nichi isogashi desu. Senshu tomodachi to isho ni omoshiroi ega o mimashita. So, we are also practicing I adjectives here. Please pay attention to that. Shumatsu ni ichi nichi ju uchi ni imashita. Kaidan no soba ni so, I hope all of you got it right over here. All your uh, sentences are done properly. Now, the second one is as we always do, write the correct readings of the kanji characters given below. I have the meanings also listed for you here. You can also check the meanings. This is also for practice. Well, the first one is Mainichi Kino Tokyo, which is a place Ashita. Ichinense Okane Oki Asa Raishu. So, well, you can also check the meanings in the right column. Now, the third assignment is write kanji characters for the words given below. So, well, let us see what it was. Iriguchi and you have the kanji character right here with the meanings in the extreme right. Nen. Deguchi. We have done all these characters in our previous lessons. So, I am sure you were able to do it properly. Jinko Kuni. You can also repeat after me for practice. Yasumi Karada Hon Ima. So, well, you can practice these kanji characters write them properly. You have the stroke order given to you. You can practice it according to the stroke order. Then the fourth assignment was fill in the blanks with proper verbs. We have done verbs 
earlier in mass form, in mashta form, in masen form, in masen deshta form. So, these are called mass form as I told you, all the verbs are listed over here and you can go through this and see what you have done. Then again we have match kanji characters in group A with meanings in group B. So, let us see what it is. Ichinense. So, you do not have the readings over here, you just have the kanji characters and the meanings in English and you are to match them. Black, kuroi, shiroi, mainichi, ki, hon. Well, this is very simple. I have I think told you earlier also, just cut the key and make book out of it. Paper is made out of trees, so well that is what it is. Karada, which is body, then yasumi, jinko and in the end we have oki. Now, choose the correct kanji characters from the brackets below. So, well you have all the kanjis listed in the correct kanjis listed in blue. You can check your kanjis and go through it. Now, we have this exercise where there is a small conversation between A and B and you see the answer first and then make the question because you need to put a question word over here. So, I will read it out to you one at a time and we will see what it is. Asoko no onna no hito wa donata desu ka or dare desu ka? Why? Because answer is Mariko san desu. If it was Asoko no hito wa Mariko san desu ka? Then the answer would have been Hai Mariko san desu. So, we need to put the question word donata over here. Then kono hon wa dash no desu ka? Now, over here it is a hai watashi no desu. So, kono hon wa anata no desu ka? Hai watashi no desu. Let us see what it is anata. Sensei wa dash desu ka? Sensei wa kyoushitsu ni imasu. So, the question word should be sensei wa doko desu ka? Then shinbun wa dash desu ka? Iie takaku arimasen. So, well as the answer is Iie takaku arimasen, then the question should be shinbun wa takai desu ka? Let us see what it is. Takai desu ka? Iie takaku arimasen. Now over here, ginko wa dash desu ka? Hai, ginko wa toi desu. So the question is, Ginko wa toi desu ka? Hai, ginko wa toi desu. Then we have tomodachi wa desu ka? Hatachi desu. So, hatachi is age 20 years, tomodachi wa nansai desu ka? So, let us see what it is. Nansai desu ka? And Ano kuruma wa dash no desu ka? Iie tomodachi no dewa arimasen. So, ano kuruma wa 
tomodachi no desu ka? Let us see what it is. Iie tomodachi no de wa arimasen. So, well, all this is given over here for you to practice. You can speak out aloud with your partner and practice like this. Now, we have all the fill in the blanks over here, particles you have to fill in. So, well, very quickly I will try to read this and we will see what particles are to come over here in the blank spaces. So, well, Kesa watashi wa rokuji ni okimashita. Soshite uchi no soba no kouen de 30 pun gurai sanpo o shimashita. Kaisha wa kyo yasumi desu. Watashi wa tomodachi to isho ni golf no renshu o shimasu. Kanai wa isho ni ikimasen. Ashita kodomo no shiken ga arimasu. Golf no ato watashi wa soto de gohan o tabemasu. Gogo yoji ni watashi tachi no Fransu go no klasu ga arimasu. Klasu no ato chika tetsu de uchi e kaerimasu. Eki wa uchi kara toi kara kanai wa mokai ni kimasu. Uchi de kazoku to isho ni terebi o mimasu. Soshite ban gohan no ato juichi jin ni nemasu. So, you will see there are a lot of particles over here. We have two karas in this, one kara over here and one kara over here. The first one is eki wa uchi kara from the house. Toi kara reason is being given by the second kara. Kanai wa mukai ni kimasu. Mukai is to receive or to go pick someone up from a certain place. So, kanai wa mukai ni kimasu. So, this is your particles. Now, let us see if we have any more assignments. No, well, we do not have any more assignments for you. I am sure you would have done them all very nicely. Well, now for practice, we have something very nice. We have been doing I adjectives so far and a uh, lot of I adjectives we have done in our previous lessons. How to say um, negative, how to, how to join I adjectives, also na adjectives we have done. So, well, we will see some opposites over here. Let us see what they are. In the picture you can see a polar bear probably feeling very, very hot in the sun. So, well, atsui. Then we have someone shivering which is samui. Then we have someone very happy. So, we have genki. Opposite of genki is Byoki, having a headache, not well. Then we have someone in a big hurry looking at his watch, probably late. So, osoi. And then by plane, it is hayai, which is very, very quick and fast. Then we have the lion over here and lions are very, very strong which is tsuyoi. Please get the pronunciation. It is tsuyoi. A small t sound is there and it is not suyoi which is an s sound. Tsuyoi means strong. Then we have the nezumi which is a very, very small animal and yowai in front of the lion which is strong. Yowai means weak. Then we have this mountain as it is Japan. It could be 
Fujisan, which is Takai. Let us see what it is. Takai. And then the opposite of Takai is Hikui. As you can see from here, the size of this person and the size of the mountain. So, Takai and Hikui. Now then, we have more opposites for you. Well, this is an elephant and someone sitting on top is Ue. And then, we have another elephant, someone hanging from there, swinging under the trunk is Shita, as we all did here in class. Then, we have an elephant which is huge and big, Oki. And we have a Nezumi, which is very, very small, which is Chisai. So, in the previous slide, Nezumi was with Lion, which is strong, Tsuyoi and Yowai. And now, Nezumi is with Zosan, which is huge and big, Zosan is huge and big, large and then Nezumi is small in front of the Zosan. Then we have this person running over here, Tanaka san running, very very thin. So, this is Hosoi, which is thin in shape. and futoi, which is fat and thick in size. Then, we have this very sweet looking girl holding a um, radish, which is horizontal. So, that is yoko. And the same girl is holding the radish straight, erect and that is tate, which is vertical. Then we have butasan, which is a pig looking at us with the nose right in front, which is mai, you have done this mai earlier and then Butasan and the tail is very clearly seen over here, which is back. So, you can see Ushiro. So, well, you can practice all these Ue, Shita, Oki, Chisai, Hosoi, Futoi, Mae, Ushiro, Tate, and Yo. You can say these out aloud. Well, we have some more for you. So, we will practice that as well. Now, you can see we did futoi in our previous slide. This is also for shapes over here, futoi and then we have hosoi thin for shape and size. Then you can see the sun shining bright. This is Akarui and we have the moon in the night, it is dark Kurai. Then we have these people working somewhere, reading, writing something, busy with something that is Isogashi and this girl sitting very nicely all alone doing nothing that is Hima. So, well opposite of Futoi is Hosoi, Akarui is Kurai, Isogashi is Hima and then we have one more slide for you here. You can see this small girl sitting all alone, all morose and sad, probably just about to weep that is 
Kanashi and we have these people here smiling and happy that is Tanoshi. So, these are some adjectives, some opposites for you. Please practice them out aloud. Now, there is a small audio, listen to this audio and let us see how much you understand. Nichiyobi ni nani o shimasu ka? Nichiyobi ni tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu. Nani ka arimasu ka? Hai, tomodachi no tanjoubi desu kara watashi tachi wa tomodachi no uchi de party o shimasu. Ah, so desu ka? Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Doko de kaimasu ka? Chikaku no departo de kaimasu. Well, I will read this out to you now and explain whatever is new. Nichiyobi ni nani o shimasu ka? Nichiyobi ni tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu. Nani ka arimasu ka? Hai, tomodachi no tanjoubi desu kara watashi tachi wa tomodachi no uchi de party o shimasu. Ah, so desu ka? O miyage o kaimashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Doko de kaimasu ka? Chikaku no departo de kaimasu. So, well, there are a few things which are new to you over here. This is a conversation between A and B. I am sure this is understood. Nichiyobi ni nani o shimasu ka? What are you going to do on Sunday? Nichiyobi ni tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu. On Sunday, I will go to my friend's house. Nani ka arimasu ka? Is something over there? Hai, tomodachi no tanjoubi desu kara watashi tachi wa tomodachi no uchi de party o shimasu. We just did kara which is reason in our exercises in our assignments. So, well kara is reason for performing a certain activity and Tomodachi no uchi de. This also we have done in our previous lessons. So this is a small revision here. Uchi de means performing an activity at a certain place. Party o shimasu. Ah, so desu ka? Is that so? Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Omiyage is present. O kaimashita ka? Iie, mada desu. Not yet. Doko de kaimasu ka? Where are you going to buy? Chikaku no departo de kaimasu. So, well, this is a simple conversation. I will do the explanation and we will practice after that. This is given in the script as you can see and now I am trying to add a few kanji characters also for you. All the kanji characters that we have done and some which we have not done also. So, I am putting those over here and we will practice those as well. Then this is a simple explanation of the dialogue. The explanation may not be exact what is in Roman. It is a simple or it is simply what you would say in English. So, that is very important whenever you read this conversation, please keep this in mind that it may not be exactly the same. It is what you would finally say in English. Because if you do a literal translation, then the meaning is lost sometimes. So, well, we had nanika in our conversation. So, well, as you can see, it is an interrogative word. It is a word made out of two question words, which is nani and ka. So, you just join the two and make nani ka out of it. Nani ka means something or anything. So, how will you how will you use nani ka? Well, it is given over here. Nani ka arimasu ka is something over there. Nani ka arimashita ka? Did something happen? 
Do you have a problem? Nani ka arimasu ka? Do you want something? So, it can be used in different situations. You must be remembering we did dare ka in our uh, previous lesson somewhere. Dare ka. So, dare is for people. As you can see, that is for people, which is who in English, and nani is for things. So, remember that. Well, we did in our previous slide, dare ka imasu ka. For example, in a room, you can ask, dare ka imasu ka? Iie, dare mo imasen. So, with person, you will use imas. And mo imasen is no one is present over there. And over here, nani ka arimasu ka? Do you have a problem? Is something there? Has something happened? Nani mo arimasen can be the answer if there is nothing. So, that is how you would use nani ka. Now, you can practice nani ka over here. For example, like this, nani ka tabemasu ka? Will you eat something? Iie nani mo tabemasen. So, now, nani ka tabemasu ka? Will you eat something? And if you say, Nani o tabe mas ka? Nani ka and nani o. What is the difference? Can you tell me the difference? There is a slight difference over here. See, a slight difference. Nani ka tabe mas ka? Will you have something? I am asking you. For example, if we go somewhere, if we go to a restaurant or, or just to a shop and I just ask you over there, nani ka nomimasu ka? Will you have something to drink? Would you like a cold drink? And if I ask you, nani o nomimasu ka? What do you want to drink or what do you want to eat? See, nani o nomimasu ka? And over here also, you can say, Nani ka nomimasu ka? So, now think about this today. Think about the difference between the two. Look up the books and then we will talk about it again in our next lesson. Over here, we can practice nani ka tabemasu ka? Iie nani mo tabemasen. Over here, you can replace tabemasu with nomimasu, kaimasu. Tabemasho, nomimasho, kai masho. So, you can replace it with any of these over here. For example, nani ka tabemasu ka? Iie, nani mo tabemasen. Nani ka nomimasu ka? Iie, nani mo nomimasen. So, you can try to give these examples. You can try to practice this with your partner. Now, we have also done particle de, particle de. We have done particle de as mode of transport, where you go from one place to another by a certain mode of transport, which generally would be either a car or a cycle or a bus, a train, a ship, a plane. So, you transport yourself, you take yourself from point A to point B by any of these vehicles or things that we just mentioned. You have also done they in another form. You have done they as you use a tool to perform a certain activity. For example, you could use a pen or a pencil to write a 
paper, a thesis paper or a letter. So, you can write a tegami, rombun, sakubun, which is an essay, sakubun, sakubun, which is an essay. So, you could use a pencil or a pen to do this. You could use a screwdriver to put in a nail. So, well with the help of a certain thing you perform a certain activity. With one noun another activity is performed. So, over here we will do this day which is which I have done just very slightly in the previous chapter day when you perform a certain activity at a certain point. So, noun 1 wa place de perform an activity, which generally would be a verb, because verbs are action words. So, well we will see how it is done. Uh, vata shi wa uchi de benkyo shi mas. So, noun 1 wa place de perform an activity. That is how you would be doing using the particle they over here. Is that all right all of you? So, please we will practice right away. There is a particle showing location where an action occurs. Kino restaurant de ban gohan o tabemashita. Kino uchi de nihongo o benkyo shimashita. So, that is how you would practice particle they and make sentences. So, we have some verbs for you. Let us see how we will use them. You see some children playing in the pool. Puru de dozo. What are we going to say? Well, puru de oyogimas. You swim in the pool. Then we have another picture where Tanaka san is having food. Where is he having food? Shokudo de tabemas. Then we have these children playing. What are they doing? Well, uchi de asobimas. Then we have another picture where we have Tanaka san doing something. Where is he? Let us see. Kaisha de. Kaisha is your office. Kaisha de. What is he doing? He is working. So, Kaisha de hatarakimas. Then we have another picture for you. Someone is watching television. So, Uchi de. What is he doing? Can you tell me? Well, uchi de terbi o mimas. So, you can practice like this and please I have been telling all along practice loudly. Then there is another renshu for you. This is renshu. The kanji for renshu is also given. So, very soon we will have everything written in Japanese only. So, please get used to the characters to the script as well. Now, there is a picture of a person using a brush to make a painting. Brush is called a fude. Fude de eo kakimas. So, with the help of something you do another activity you perform an activity. 
So, well, brush de eo kakimasu. So, this de is with the help of something. Over here also we have this gentleman writing something with pen. So, well, pen de kakimasu. Then we have someone cleaning. So, hoki de soji wo shimasu. Hoki is this broom and soji wo shimasu or soji shimasu is cleaning the whole area. Then we have someone having tea and pouring sugar cubes in the cup. So, well, spoon de sato o iremasu to pour or to put. And someone is talking on phone. So, well, using the phone to talk, then wa de hanashimasu. So, you have both the days over here, particle de in the previous slide where action is performed and particle de where with the help of something an action is being performed. So, now listen to this conversation, audio conversation over here. Rao-san, kaisha kara uchi made densha de nanpun ka karimasu ka? Koko kara uchi wa toi desu kara ichi jikan han gurai ka karimasu. Arun-san wa? Watashi no uchi wa chikai desu kara kuruma de 15 hon gurai desu. I desu ne. And let us see what we have to practice in this. I hope most of it is clear. I will read it out once to you. Rao san, kaisha gara uchi made densha de nanpun kakarimasu ka? Koko kara uchi wa toi desu kara ichi jikan han gurai kakarimasu. Arun san wa? So, over here the question is left incomplete for the person to answer and the intonation is rising with wa you will notice. Gurai of course, we have done earlier and there is kara over here. Then the conversation goes ahead and we have watashi no uchi wa chikai kara kuruma de jugohun gurai kakarimasu. So, it is close by thus it takes only 15 minutes approximately 15 minutes. So, the intonation you can see that is really wonderful, that is really nice. So, this was the conversation. I will not explain each and everything as I am sure by now we are almost halfway through with our lectures. So, you should be able to understand a lot of things. Then this is a simple explanation of the dialogue. So, well this is your script again and you can look up the words, the kanji characters that you do not understand in a dictionary. Get used to looking up a kanji, looking up a Japanese dictionary. Now, kara, we have done this a number of times, but this is just a slight revision how to use it now for you, how to say different things in kara, how to use I adjectives, how to use verbs. So, well, kara is a particle and indicates reason or cause and you will notice that the reason is given first in Japanese and then whatever you are doing because of the reason given. Over here you can see toi desu kara because it is far away hachiji ni ikimashou. Let us go at 8 o'clock. Kyo wa isogashi desu kara because I am isogashi today thus ashita ikimasu. Thus I will go tomorrow. So, I over here is not mentioned. Well, 
You can practice kara now. Ega o mimashou ka? So, atama ga itai kara. Ega o mimasen. How to use I adjectives with kara? Atama ga itai kara. Ega o mimasen. Itai is, it is hurting. I have a headache. So, atama is head. It is atama ga itai kara. Ega o mimasen. Now, you can replace atama ga itai for onaka ga itai. Onaka is your stomach. Onaka ga itai kara ega o mimasen. Kimochi ga warui kara. Kimochi is your feeling. How you are feeling. Kimochi ga warui kara ega o mimasen. Ima isogashi kara ega o mimasen. So, you can give n number of reasons for not performing a certain activity. Now, ega o mimasen. So, over here you are giving reason for, this is the reason for not doing this. You can change this as is given in the slide. Onaka ga itai, iso ga shi kara ega o mimasen. You can also change this over here. Atama ga itai kara iki masen. Onaka ga itai kara gohan o tabe masen. Mega itai kara benkyo shi ma sen. So you can give any reason like this for not performing a certain activity and you can also change this as you want. Now, practice this with your partner. Now, we have practice giving reasons for a certain activity. So, you have some pictures over here. Well, Tanaka san has a stomach ache, onaka ga itai. So, what are you going to say? Onaka ga itai kara doko e mo ikimasen. I will not go anywhere. So, well, let us see what the second picture says. Tanaka san has a headache. So, what is for headache? I just told you in the previous slide. Atama ga itai. So, atama ga itai kara doko e mo ikimasen. Then we have this third slide here, which has Mr. Tanaka, Tanaka san working very hard in his office. So, what does he have to say? Isogashi kara doko e mo ikimasen. So, you can replace it like this and practice. Now, over here we have A and B. A is asking a question. Depato e ka? So, as in our previous slide, Tanaka san was working. He says, Isogashi kara kyo ikimasen. So, depato can be changed for shokudo. Shokudo e ikimashoka. Isogashi kara ima ikimasen. Sensei no uchi e ikimashou ka? Isogashi kara ikimasen. Also, you can give different reasons. Shokudo e ikimashou ka? Iie, onaka ga itai kara ima ikimasen. Or, you can also say, Sensei no uchi e ikimashou ka? Sensei no uchi wa toi kara 
ikimasen. It is very, very far, so I will not go. Toshokan, library. Toshokan e ikimashou ka? Toshokan no naka wa samui kara ikimasen. It is very cold inside, thus I will not go. So, well, these are some of the things, some of the examples which you can use and practice at home. Now, we have been doing hiragana all along in our lessons. You have the ya series. Look at this. One, a very nice curve. Two and then three. Then we have U like this, U and from top to bottom and then we have yo. So, you have all three together. Now, I want to tell you something. It is just ya, you and yo. Just the three. Ya, ye, ye is not there at all. This is similar to e and a thus has been removed. So, we just have three in this set of ya. Now, as I always do, I am doing kanji now also. We have two kanjis listed here, hidari and migi. Hidari means left and migi means right. So, I will just make this character for you. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Hidari. So, once again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Hidari. We also have migi over there. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, this is a this is a combination of characters over here, meanings over here for hidari. You will just see it is a five stroke character and you can see something given over here on your screens. There is a hand, it is a combination of hand and uh, the carpenter's scale. Generally, the carpenter would hold the scale with his left hand and then draw his lines and cut the board. So, that is how hidari is for left and you can see it is a five stroke character 1, 2, 3, 4 and then the last one is 5 over here. So, well this is how hidari is made, the concept of hidari. Then we have migi and you can see the right hand over here. Well, it is very simple, all of us eat with our right hands. So, well this is the hand and you eat your rice or whatever it is with your right hand, put it in your mouth and that is how Migi has come into being. This is also a five stroke character 1, 2, 3 and then this is the fourth one and then this is the fifth one. So, we have these two characters Hidari and Migi. Then, I would also like you to do some verbs 
So, there are two verbs listed over there. This character you have done if you remember like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, what do you think? Do you remember what it is? We did it long back. Well, this is I may, may this, ne? may and what do you do with your eyes? Well, you see with your eyes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, this is miru, miru, miru. So, well, miru is one verb that we will do. Then there is another one which is listed which is tabemas. You have been doing tabemas all along. So, tabemas, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then 9. So, it is a 9 stroke character, very simple to make, not very difficult 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. It is a 9 stroke character, tabe mas, tabe mas. Ta be ru taberu. So, we have these two characters here tabemas and mimas. Once again, I will make it and then we have um, hidari and migi. These are the four characters. Now, how has tabimas come into being? We have tabimas first. So, well, you have a rice bowl in front of you and you eat it. It is placed on something, you cover it and it is to be eaten. So, that is tabimas. You have this rice bowl, it is covered with another bowl and then it is placed on something. So, well, that is tabimas. Then you have mimas, the I is given over here and with a person walking. So, when you walk you need to keep your eyes open and walk properly that is mimas. The stroke order is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, it is a 7 stroke character and we already know that tabimas is a 9 stroke character. Now, you have some vocabulary, the vocabulary that we have done in class. I will just read it out. You can practice it at home and over here you can say after me. The meanings are given here in purple, the hiragana is in blue. Yoko, tate, sei ga takai, sei ga hikui, futoi, kosoi, oi, sukunai, hidari, migi. We have some more vocabulary today. Kimochi, toki doki, kagami, ha, sentaku, hoki, soji shimas, migakimas. Sampo shimas, abimas. So, the meanings are given over here. You can go through the meanings. Now, as I have been doing proverbs in our 
in some of our lessons. Well, today also there is a proverb for you, a very famous Japanese proverb, saru mo ki kara ochiru. Saru is a monkey, ki is tree and ochiru is to fall. So, it is even monkeys can fall from trees. So, even the best of people can make mistakes. So, you should never be shy of making mistakes, always learn from them. Over here you can see Sarusan is down here under the tree has had a bad fall, is feeling bad, but I am sure will not make the same mistake again. So, once please you could repeat after me Saru mo ki kara ochiru that is even monkeys can fall from trees. So, well we have some new words with the kanjis that we had done. Hidarite, migite, hidarime, migime, hidarigawa, migigawa, shokuji, shokugo. So, well, these are some of the kanjis used over here. You can see how they are used. The kanjis you can check out and try to write. Now, your time begins, my time is over. Your time starts now. You have to do all the assignments at home. There are lots of them for you. So, well, look at the picture and tell what they are saying is one. Then we have match the columns A and B. Then look at the picture and make sentences using adjectives and give reasons for doing the activity. For example, you can say Mirku wa oishi desu kara nomi mas. So, you can try like this. There is fill in the blanks. The words are here for you, verbs are here and you can put verbs in proper forms in the brackets. Then look at the pictures and fill in the blanks with verbs in proper form. As done in our previous lesson, you need to fill in the blanks with appropriate particles. Read it carefully and then fill in the particles. Then fill in the blanks with interrogative words. So, well, read the sentence and then make the question and put the word. Again, match the words in column A with words in column B. You only have the kanji characters and the meanings. Try to match those. And that is your assignment. Those are your assignments. Do them at home. Revise what we have done in class here. Go over the lesson and be prepared, come prepared for our next lesson. See you next time. Till then, arigato. Mata aimashou.